Hey, everybody, this is Phil Town. And this is Danielle Town. Welcome to the Invested Podcast here in Coronaville. <laughs> we, are, <laughs> we are quarantining away out here in Zurich. Danielle's in Zurich. I'm in Georgia. And we're quarantining. We're doing good. We're quarantining from each other. We have. We've shifted our, our workshops, have gone online, and everything's going well. Everything's doing good. And we're still teaching how to manage your portfolio if you're going to be an investor. And by we, you mean you. I'm not teaching how to manage a portfolio. Okay, true. <laughs> <laughs> but I am and writing I about it, my investing practice on my newsletter. And actually, this month, I'm putting it out free for everybody because of all the craziness. So if you want it, you can go to daniellettown.com. And it's super important to be studying the best investors in the world right now. I, to yeah. be, I yeah. mean, you're looking at... Honestly, I really, truly believe this, you guys, and you can call me on it two years from now if I'm wrong, but I believe the next 24 months will be the investing opportunity of your lifetime. You okay. will not see a better one. Now, ever. we're going to talk about Amazon, I promise, but yes. tell me why you think the next 24 months are going to be the best opportunity, because a lot of people think the opportunity has come and gone. Well, they may be right. I don't have a crystal ball, but I'll tell you what I'm seeing is that um, we have unemployment pushing to almost 20% in America. Yeah. We have enormous uh, change in GDP downward. Yeah. And the impact on service companies around the country is enormous. And you know that <clears throat> this economy, our GDP is 70% consumerism. We don't have, you know, a huge industrial base anymore. And um, nobody's buying cars. Nobody's, well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe people are buying cars, but not nearly at the level of, nothing's being sold at the level of anything else except groceries and stuff mm. you buy on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we're going to talk about Amazon. Yes. But other than that, there's a, well, Ray Dalio calls it we're, that we're in a depression. Um, it just isn't recognized as such by the cheerleaders who are running the government and you can't fault them. They're supposed to do that. Right. But uh, Ray Dalio is just tell right. the truth, you know, the hard yeah. truth and nothing like, but the truth. I like the tell the truth guys. Yeah. But if you were, in, if, well, you know what, maybe it's the best thing in the world for politicians to tell the truth. You think of Winston Churchill in world war two saying, I have nothing to offer you, but blood and, and tears and you know, blah, 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 mm -hmm. whatever that was. That was a great speech. And people were like, yeah, let's yeah. go get him. I mean, so, there's a reason that Andrew Cuomo has gone from being like pretty much totally hated to like the hero that we need these days. I know. And, and Merkel <laughs> did the same thing and was, and now her approval ratings in Germany are at 80%. Yeah. 80%. She's a amazing. German politician. That's insane. And what she do? She got on there and said, get ready for some real serious she problems. Said things are going to be tough. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we got the opposite going on in the country every other day. I mean, Trump is all so, over the map. Without getting into politics, you think the next two years roughly are, you, basically what you're saying is you don't think the market has reflected I think the situation. Merkel's right. <laughs> I think we're in for a really tough time. And I think you should buckle your seatbelt. Um, and as an investor, what you should be doing is reading, 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 so that you pick a few companies, put them on your list. You do not want to diversify your portfolio in an environment like this. You're going to get hammered. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to be thinking, this is 1932. This is 1930. We're, we're on our way down. We're not down. We're on our way down. And uh, both in terms of the economic condition of the country and the stock market. Um, and this, is, this isn't my view uh, on my own. This is Ray Dalio's view after studying. And if you don't know Ray, we've talked about him here a lot. And he's the best macro investor in the world. I think if you're going to listen to somebody about what's going to happen out there, he might as well be him. And so... He's basically saying, buckle your seatbelt and get ready to buy some gold. You know, it's going to be, it's going to be rough out there. So I think, and, and basically what that means is that you're looking at an opportunity to buy the best companies in the world massively on sale here coming up over the next two years as investors start to realize, oh, we've had the peak. It's over. The growth rate in my stock portfolio is no longer, I'm not looking anymore at 
you know, dividends of 4% and, and growth rate of 5% and, and ending up a lot better than my 0% bonds. And people are going to wake up and go, holy smokes, the stock market is going to deliver a negative return over the next five years. It appears it's certainly not going to go up. My dividends have been cut in all these companies. I'm not getting dividends anymore. My money's not safe. Inflation's on the horizon. So sitting here doing nothing isn't going to work either. And I need to do something else. And what people need to do is to learn to be an investor. You're going to have to start taking responsibility for your money instead of just hoping you can put it out there across a thousand things and everything's going to work out fine. Those days are behind us. It's not likely to work out fine right now. The Schiller PE well, indicates it's actually liking, likely to work out to very low single digits to negative rates of return over the next 20 years in the S&P 500. So, I, I, you know, we're looking for an entire reset of the stock market, guys. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, the, the, the thing that's sometimes called the Buffett indicator is the Wilshire GDP ratio put out by the Federal Reserve in St. Louis, which peaked yes. at 175% last, you know, two months ago. Um, and its historical average is about 80%. In other words, the stock market is typically priced at about 80% of GDP. Well, we've been at double that, more than double that. And so if the only thing that happened is that GDP stayed exactly where it is right now, didn't move, which isn't going to happen. If GDP stayed good, the stock market realistically should drop by 50%. If it wasn't just emotionally driven and, and driven by cheap, uh, inter by low interest rates. But we're not going to have GDP stay where it was. No. It's going down. Yeah, it is down okay? already. Yeah, it is down. And I think you're going to get a triple whammy, Danielle. I think you're going to see the stock market reset the ratio of the price in the stock market to GDP back to historical norms, which means cut the price in half if GDP stays where it is. Mm -hmm. The Dow goes from 15 to 30,000 to 15,000. GDP stays where it is. But that's not going to happen. GDP is going to be down. Let's say it's down. 20%, well, you just knocked the stock market down another 3,000 points to 12,000, right? And then third, you've got an enormous percentage of the stock market is in index funds, which don't even try to discover price, which yeah. means that as they start going down, they have to sell those companies, even the good ones are going to get sold off. There's no price discovery in indexes. And all these people who have indexes are going to freak as those things start coming down and they're going to the sell orders are going to come flying in. I mean, this is one scenario. It doesn't have to be the only scenario, but it is a likely scenario. And if you don't know what to do right now with the stock market creeping back up toward its previous monster, ridiculous highs, you might want to seriously consider getting in cash and learning to be an investor because you guys, if you pick a few companies and you pick good ones 10 years from now, instead of having, you know, a 0% return in inflation chewing you up from there, which is entirely possible, you would have potentially, you know, a thousand percent return from great companies. This is exactly when Ben Graham, who founded this style of investing, started investing. This is when he wrote the book about it, Security Analysis. So let's talk about why, just I'm quickly on a rant. again. I'm on a rant. Exactly. And I'm it's, on a rant. It, it's, I, I love it. Half of me loves it. Half of me wants to Argue. avoid the like, <laughs> no, not at all. Half, not at all. I don't like to do it. Just kidding. <laughs> Half of me wants to find out why you think this is different. I mean, everything you just said could have been said four months ago and frankly was being said four months ago. Yeah. And there's no like, it just, I don't know, to just sort of announce that like the market will go back to norms. It may not. What What if, what, I, I don't know. Why do you think that? Just because I mean, GDP no is going to go down. Pandemic going around the world. So is the reason is the is what you're saying is because GDP is going to go down, the market has to reflect that at some point. Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, it has to at some point. You guys, if you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about how to invest, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the button on the screen. We got a free gift for you. Thanks again for watching.